What's up everybody, it's Neo here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you two ways to get the Redbox application working on your larger non-compatible Android device. So if you've noticed recently when you go on to the Play Store and try to install Redbox, you can conveniently scroll its catalog before renting a movie, um, you'll get this notification that says your device isn't compatible with this version because for whatever reason the Redbox application has not been optimized for larger devices with a higher DPI or pixels per inch. But there are still ways to get the application on your device and working properly. So the first way we're going to cover is acquiring the APK. Now in order to install the APK you'll first need to go into your settings, go all the way down, enter security, and right here where it says unknown sources, you're just going to make sure and you toggle that on. This will allow installation of apps from sources outside the Play Store. Now using a APK, which is included in this guide on GadgetX.com, I'm going to go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, I can go ahead and open it up and everything will be working just like it should be. So here's the Redbox application and it looks very clean and nice and functions how the application does on other devices. So I'm not too sure why it's not been optimized yet for this device. Um, take note of how clean and functional this version is because I will show you how to get it another way but the version is a little bit different and uh, personally I don't like it. The second method in acquiring the Redbox application is by going through the Amazon App Store. So after you install the Amazon App Store application on your Android device you can actually just open it and search for Redbox like you would on the Play Store. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on it and just install it. Now this one does work and is functional like the other version though as you'll notice right now it doesn't look as clean and user-friendly as the other one does or it is user-friendly it just it just looks real bland and I I don't like this one compared to the other one but it still works and it's fairly simple um, just the thumbnails are a little pixelated and the the interface is kind of bland as I already mentioned but it works and that's the second way of getting this application on your Android device that is incompatible with. So definitely check out the full guide on GadgetX.com. You have the links provided in there for the APK, Amazon App Store, and whatever else you'll need. So definitely don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks guys.